What zodiac sign are you most compatible with? I get that these kinds of headlines are really popular. It's definitely pop culture astrology and they really draw people in. Oh my gosh, I wanna know who I'm most compatible with. When astrologers are talking about signs that are compatible or incompatible, they're talking about the astrology wheel. And there are certain relationships like a square. Let's look at Pisces and Gemini. They form a square to each other in the zodiac wheel. Squares are points of tension. So when astrologers say Pisces and Gemini's are not the most compatible, they're talking about those aspects. Signs that are opposite each other on the wheel can also form, you know, incompatibility or conjunct even. Signs like Pisces and Capricorn that form a sextile. Could you even see that? They are compatible because they form a sextile. Sextiles, trines, those are points of ease. So when you're reading compatibility, they're talking about sun sign connections according to the wheel. However, always want to add the caveat because you're not just your sun sign. You are your sun, your moon, your Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, all of those traits. So you may have two people with incompatible suns, suns that are meeting up by square opposition, but have a lot of other compatibility in their chart. Personal example, my partner is a Pisces. I'm a Gemini. Our suns should be incompatible, but we have so many other points in our charts that make us compatible. That's why we've been together almost three years and it's the easiest, most amazing relationship I've ever been in in my life. So when it comes to people wanting to know who am I most compatible with, what they're really saying is I want to know how to pick the right person so that I don't get hurt, so that I don't get heartbroken, so that I don't experience rejection. And these are all very normal human fears. However, I just want to point out that <clears throat> dating, love, and relationships, it's not a thing that you immediately figure out so that you don't have to ever experience pain and heartbreak. It's something that you do with courage. You take leaps of faith. You just have to show up and see what happens because the growth, the emotional development, the intimacy, the experience that you can have from it will be so rich and you'll learn so much from it. From an astro astrological standpoint, I've worked with couples. I've seen numerous examples of people who have two charts that are extremely compatible and yet the relationship never lasts past a month or two. And then I've seen charts that have so much squares, so much tension, and they'll be together for years. They'll be together for decades. So the other compatibility factor is free will and soul contracts. If the two of you came together and you have a soul contract to be together in this lifetime to teach each other to grow, it doesn't matter what's in the chart. You both have the will and determination to make that relationship work and you can. So free will is a huge factor in compatibility. Don't worry too much about the signs that astrologers say you are or aren't compatible with. If it feels right, if it feels good, go for it.